versatile products, but stand. Let's not forget, I need to restart my computer, I'm sure. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Today is the first day back to work from my two week vacation, AKA time off from work. Like, but I'm here, I'm logged on. Nothing is working. I'm restarting. I don't know why under why logging on after rebooting is the worst and the hardest thing to do you guys i don't even know what i'm going to be doing today it's that coming back to work after a holiday break and you're like you lose track of everything you've done i have um i'm pretty sure i have over 300 unread emails in this time frame and it was a holiday report at two o'clock what happened here okay and then we have a 4 30 call oh my god so i have a 9 a.m a 9 30 a 2 p.m and a 4 30 call like calls are so spread out all right let me check back in when i get my computer set up so i pulled up my um gitlab to see the project that i need to work on for today but I'm also going through addressing some emails and questions but I need to ask other members of my team what's going on because we have some questions about reporting and some changes and things went in place while I was out of the office so I'm trying to get clarification and go through some of the documents so that's what I'm working on now I need to address this email Am I in the wrong meeting room? I don't understand. I don't know. Am I on the wrong bridge? Okay, so let me multitask then and work on, hello? Hey, yes, okay. No, you're good. Yeah. For the top three, it's per market, okay. I don't get it. Oh, oh, he wasn't removed. Wow. 39. What? Oh, gosh. Well, I will say I definitely understand where you're coming from. I have been there or I have had this feeling since I've been in. It's always been a the rules say this, like I'm trying to abide by the rules and it just felt like it's a constant fight with leadership and back then it was with two wanting to go outside the rules wanting to give employees exceptions wanting to give them the benefit of the doubt and i'm just like that's not fair to all the other employees and i'm just like right and i constantly like kind of like when you brought back that um employee um, and i'm just like in my opinion because like the rules are the rules like we have nothing to do with your it like i don't want to say that verbally but it is what it is like we can't account for everyone every exception you know like we need us i need to uh i need a standard template when we have like all the information that we need because like yeah i'm gonna work on that and for the um my question for the hold on maybe i have more than one question so one is related to an email that we got in our box not on the new site should that be showing up in for people like was that transferred okay so i'll respond and let them know that's not done yet the other email i'll reach out to to confirm for this person what we're going to be that excel file we're getting from right because that it was supposed to launch end of this month right but yeah i'm looking at the dashboard and comparing it to like the like when i left what we had planned for the month so i'm just verifying the cross sell is that still a work in progress all right you guys so i just got off my one-on-one -on -one with my manager and i need to complete an ad hoc request for someone they are asking asking me to pull in employee information so i need to pull up Teradata and work on this. And then there's another report that I had in my in my GitLab. I, I use that as my project tracker. Like, why isn't anything working? I don't, do I need to reboot again? Because like my start menu pulls nothing up. All right, so I'm just gonna connect to Teradata so I can pull in this employee information for. I don't even know, like this is my report and I don't even know because there's been so many changes made to it while I've been out of the, business for the last two weeks 
Okay. Select from where. Okay, let's see, format. Okay, so I am running this statement in SQL, this query. Like, I don't understand why Teradata is taking, well, oh, you know what? It's Monday on the return from the holiday. Everybody's probably running their queries. I'm like, I just got a simple little query and it's been two minutes and it's still not executed. Like, this makes no sense. Okay, finally, jeez. Select. Okay, I need Oh crap. I need to pull in uh, one more field <sighs> equals y'all. I don't know why this employee's info is not coming back. It's okay. Let me who are you? Why is it not coming back? Is there supposed to be a zero? I don't see how the battery is exhausted on this. Okay. Okay, good morning, everybody. Let me meet the TV. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Today, it is a snow day in Atlanta. This is um, that second winter storm that's happening. You guys will probably see this during the spring, so it won't matter then. But happy 2025, happy new year. The first week back from work has been crazy busy, just as far as things like I've been having to push meetings and things back to next week. Like I had scheduled meetings for this week and I'm just like, I got other stuff to do. I need more time, you know? I just, I don't know what it is. It's just a lot going on, so yeah. Oh, that reminds me, I need to send out um, an email. But on what I've been working on or trying to work on is a dashboard that I need to like build a template out on how it will look. I need to get back to working on that dashboard. But before I do, I need to send out an email communication. I need to, I reached out to our finance team about some targets for um, a few metrics for the month of January to see if, because I don't have anything with the target for January because I'm trying to, um, I've been asked to look at return on investment and a part of that calculation I need targets. So they are the ones that typically set the targets, but they gave us um, some other information but I don't see targets so I reached out to so I'm reaching out to finance to find out if we got targets for that and if so then I can calculate that but then my manager wants hey what was our R ROI for all of 2024 and I'm like we didn't we didn't like a part of that we need to set targets when we measure ROI like we have what our actual results were we have what the what our CV was we have what was it we have our forecast and we have our CV and then we have a comparison to prior year that we do and all of that's based on yes I can do like look at how we perform to CV but if you're trying to say this is what we actually did versus the CV like or versus the forecast that doesn't have anything to do with our initiatives and the targets that we set like we can't claim like all this performance against CV or against forecast was us because we have to have because we have our own individual or we should have our own individual targets saying okay for this month we want to sell X many units so based on that what was our goal like what did we spend to try and get to this goal what did we actually perform like what was the actual performance what is the revenue that we get from each sale you know like how close did we like one we need to measure attainment like to that target so we have a target let's say that we say we're going to sell 10,000 units we sell 9,000 so we have a 90% attainment to the target okay so what was the revenue on that okay so we said we would do 10,000 the revenue would be this we only did 9,000 this is the revenue and what did we spend okay so we would have to put in the dollar amount that we spent on this specific initiative to push this product or service or whatever it is and deduct that from what we actually sold but if I, if I don't have a target, I can't say that, well, 
we sold 9,000 units. So yeah, that's our ROI, like the 9,000 times the revenue. Like that, it, that doesn't make sense to me, like because that wasn't, like we can't say the 9,000 was just solely related to us because that may have been the business or not the 9,000, I'm sorry, I'm saying that wrong. So we can't say like, oh, well, you know, there were 30,000 units sold and we said we would do 10. So we're just gonna claim 10,000 of that 30. No, that's not how it works. So yeah, I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly, but we need a target for these initiatives so we can't just use the forecast or we typically don't use the forecast as our target yeah we have our own individual sales targets that we're trying to meet but again finance sets that so we'll see all right well i need to start working and getting this dashboard built out for our senior director has this initiative and we're trying to get things together so yeah let me work on that and let me oh this email let me send this email out and um fingers crossed that i don't lose my power because georgia power sucks and georgia is not built for snow days unfortunately but yeah let's see oh hi how's it going <laughs> <laughs> same here it's uh slushy and it's definitely cold yep that's exactly what's happening um i've been looking through the deck that you um shared with me that's what we you wanted to review correct okay all right cool do you want me to share um here i'll share yeah i do have some questions about it so the first thing um or the first question i had throughout was the period that you're comparing this to like what period of time when you're saying like hey there's an 18 percent increase what are we comparing it like two months prior or to the same time last year so the entire year so it would be january through september versus the what's this october october november right yeah okay so June, we might want to call that out somewhere that like we are comparing nine months to this two month period. No, I don't think you have to be redundant on it, but just like in general, that, that was the time frame that you used for comparison for the analysis. I think that would be helpful to understand. Now, one um so that was that and then you um i think you adjusted this for annualized but yeah i'll let you go through it but i just wanted to um ask about that time frame now i know what's going or i uh, i'm going to assume this will be at possibly at some point how did this performance compare to so just something we may need to look at but i can't even remember off top what the metrics were because i think there were different things we looked at as well 23 right because i'm trying what was it because that was august september october in 2023 what were the let me look at i'm trying to look in the deck and see what the metrics were so it was sales, it was their quota attainment. The first one? Oh, I don't know. I was not here for the first one. I don't think I ever looked into it really either. Is this what I'm looking for, the end-to-end -end deck? Okay, so it was quota attainment combined at the end of the three month period for the top three performers. Yeah, so it was just their sales, but it was just based on their three month sales. Not only is it consumer only, but then we adjusted it you know, gave everyone like a 10% discount on targets, so, or quotas to make it fair and consistent across the board for some people who had like a heavy mix. So yeah, there's that. We're measuring different time frames and different metrics. It's fine, so do I. <laughs> I have my notebook and my planner. I write it down.